But that wasn't her intent. She didn't care about Adana. She didn't care about her learning. She didn't care about her improving as a student. She didn't care about her fr freaking uh, success in PA school. No, she cared about her getting in trouble. Good job, this is Anthony Adana, the PA's husband. And look, man, I'm not even gonna waste time. I'm gonna jump right into this. Um, I'm about to share with you guys. I'm about to expose uh, some things just for you guys. Uh, so you can see exactly some of the uh, the racist and discriminatory stuff that Adana has been through. My wife has been through uh, during her time while in PA school. Um, it's come to my attention. I'm actually, hold on, I'm actually right now at the park, man. I had to get up out the house, man. I just had to, it's, you know, this quarantine stuff is going crazy. I had to get some fresh air. So I hope the audio is good for you guys. I hope the video is going to turn out fine. But, um... Yeah, anyway. Also, um, I know Adana, you know, Adana already put out a video kind of addressing uh, some of the stuff that's going on with protests and um, uh, just the injustice that's going on in our world. If you haven't seen that, you can check it out. Um, and I, I don't know if Adana uh, is going to personally um, make a video addressing um, her, some of these uh, discriminatory things that she experienced while in PA school, at least not yet. Um, but when the time comes, she might, but I definitely wanted to share just from my perspective um, as being her husband, and actually I'm involved with some of the stuff that you're about to see. You're about to see actual, I have it right here on my phone, you're about to see actual emails, you're about to see actual uh, comments um, that were said um, in reference to uh, calling my wife, you know, referring to her as slavery, as slave, um, and, and trying to get my wife kicked out of school, etc. So I'm about to expose that right for you right now. So. If you're new to this channel, please go ahead and make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Uh, support my wife and everything that she's doing. Go ahead and like this video right now. And please share this video, man, because the stuff I'm about to say, uh, stuff I'm about to say and share with you in this video, other people, especially people of color, especially people of color who are looking to get into the physician assistant uh, career in PA school, need to see this just so they can be prepared for what is potentially to come. Um, lastly, right before I start this, I just want to say how dope my wife is, man. By the end of this video, by the end of this video, if nothing else, I want you guys to know how dope my freaking wife is, how dope you are. Uh, if you are a person of color and you're trying to get into PA school or you're in PA school, how freaking dope you are. Uh, all the people who, who, who just support my wife, how dope you are. Everybody who alive, how dope you are. I'm going to stop, let me stop people looking at me. All right, y'all, so anyway, let's jump right in this, man. Um. So it's been brought to my attention that uh, on Facebook, there's a Facebook group called Physician Assistants, um, and it's a, a group specifically for physician assistants and, and people uh, maybe who are curious about the PA career, etc. cetera. And um, so there's been some comments in some other groups and just some other places that people are actually posting things on that physician assistant group in reference to what is going on today uh, with regard to the protest and black lives and... Um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And specifically even approaching it in the, in the, in the context of how it's uh, affecting and relating to the medical community and the PA community and how we can get involved and things like that. Very respectable, um, um, worthwhile comments. And these people who are posting these comments are actually being, these comments are actually being deleted and removed. And some of these people who have posted these comments have even been banned by the admins of that particular Facebook group. And I'm, when I first heard that, man, I got to be honest, like when I first heard that, I wasn't surprised at all, man. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't a surprise for me at all. What's crazy is uh, people are just now, I guess, starting to see what Adana already experienced years ago. So years ago, um, 2017, uh, 18, uh, well, end of 2017, 18, uh, Adana, first of all, she started her YouTube channel. And I'm about to share with you guys right now a uh, post that I made on behalf of my wife um, on that particular Facebook group because my wife does not have a Facebook account. She's on Instagram, follow her at Adana the PA, um, but she has a face, she does not have a Facebook account. So I personally would face, uh, would comment things and post things on behalf of her on Facebook. And so some of the things I'll post, you know, I post uh, all kinds of random things, but just all in reference to obviously the PA career, some of the stuff she's doing, uh, some videos she may have that may benefit pre-PA students and PAs. Um, so that's what would happen, right? So some of the, the, a lot of the feedback, and some of you who are watching may know and may remember this stuff that she went through. Um, but posting on that particular Facebook group, um, there's all kinds of stuff happened from that. Um, and I'm going to share with you right now. I'm about to expose and show with you right now what those things are. Um, 
first I did want to say this. So my wife, and I, I have this right here pulled up. My wife, um, when she, actually, I, actually, I'll start with that. So let me start with that. Let me start with uh, what was posted and some of the things that was said. So, <clears throat> so there's two parts to this, right? There's two different Facebook parts to this. One is um, the, the blatant racist the blatant racist comments that were posted on her channel. And then I'm going to share with you, hold on. The blatant racist comments that was um, posted on her, on her, um, her, on on her post, on the post that I made for her, as well as the comment that, and and responses that were, um, you can't say it was blatantly racist, but you can clearly see that my wife was targeted. So my wife started a YouTube channel back in 017. It was called Adana the PA, right? Um, this I'm showing you right now. So I posted something, right? And on that, on that same group, as you can see here, I'm pulling up right now for you guys. And so you can see this. This is the actual physician assistant group, as you can see. Um, and I'm going to just scroll down. Well, actually, you can't see. But this was made, um, this post was made like around 2017-ish or 2018 or something like that, in the beginning of it. And so I made a post on this particular group, and, um, and when I made this post, it was just in reference to something, I don't know, what Donna was doing. But clearly someone had, few people, many people, had a problem with Adana using the term Adana the PA, while she was actually a PA student. And it, it, it completely was mind-boggling to me, because people were actually, and when I say people, it wasn't black people, it wasn't Asian people, it wasn't... Hispanic people, the only people that were commenting that had an issue with my wife using Adana the PA were white people. And, um, and so I, I got into a discussion with this woman here. So let me, let, me read, let me read to you this right here, okay? I want you to read this with me. Again, physician assistant group, you guys can see right there. Boom, PA group. I wrote, anyone who has an issue with my wife's YouTube name and or channel or content, please do feel free to contact her directly with a message at Adana the PA at Gmail. Anyone who expresses a genuine concern <clears throat> and reaches out to her on a professional level, she will absolutely provide an open ear to what you have to say and address any concerns or questions you may have. However, she does not concern herself with comments off the internet as people's opinions come a dime a dozen. If your intent is to genuinely help a PA student understand your position, then please be a professional and reach out to her. She would love to hear from you. However, if your intent is simply to express your discontent or annoyance on a Facebook post without any desire to effectively reach whom you are intentionally or unintentionally bashing, then please feel free to comment away. Have a blessed night. So I wrote that um, so that people can just reach out to her. People, again, if you have a problem with using the Donna the PA, just reach out to her, talk to her, express your concern. She's very open to that. Now, mind you, we clearly, she clearly has no problem with using Adana the PA. Adana the PA was actually something that many people, <laughs> many people during that time were using before her, right? Um, but apparently she was targeted. And before I, before I even continue with this, this particular uh, comment, right, let me just show you real quick. Let me show you right now. I'm going to show you right now that uh, who it was. Hold on. So, one second. So, the people at that time, um, and remember, and I'm about to say this as a shout out. These are a shout out to people. There's nothing negative that they did at all, whatsoever. But I'm showing this, to, I'm, I'm putting this to you so you guys can see. The people at the time that were using the term the PA, that were actual PA students, was a girl named Lore the PA, the PA consultant, Day with a PA, and Paige the PA, right? All four of those people were white people, or are white people. All four of those people were using the PA in reference to their, their, uh, their, their moniker for their social media handles. And Adana, the PA. So out of all of these people, uh, my wife, Adana, was the only one, the only one that was targeted um, and, and persecuted for using her name, the PA, at the end of her thing. The only one. The only one. Why was nobody else looked at, targeted, sent messages to, etc.? Back to now. Back to what this lady said in this post. So, this lady went on to say, pull this up here. The lady went on to say, this was her response to my comment that I wrote. 
again, this is, here we are, right? This is the comments that I wrote. We're going to go back here. This is what she wrote. She said, uh, Darcy, rather than comment to your wife, I will be sharing my concerns with the dean of her PA program at Lynchburg College. It's a matter of professionalism, ethics, and humility that all PA students must possess as a reflection of their program. Stop right there for a second. Listen to me, you guys. I come to find out that this woman was actually a professor. I don't know if she still is not, but she was a professor of a PA program. So, mind you, let me also say, make this very clear. My wife made sure that she did not, in any of her posts, any of her videos, any of her Instagram posts, never shared what school, what college and now university that she went to. Never, for many reasons. One, just because of her relationship with the school, and two, because she did not want people to know where, she's a student. She didn't want people to know where she's at. She's a social media personality. There's crazy people out there. She didn't care to have people know where she went to school. This lady went on to address publicly what school she went to, where she went through heaven and hell to make sure nobody would know this, right? I went on to respond. Well, that goes to show where your heart really lies. Thank you for making that clear. P.S. Her dean of the PA program knows about her, her YouTube channel. Have a blessed night. She responded, my heart lies, quotations, in being honest and professional, not misrepresenting our profession. We work very diligently to maintain respect for PAs and all individuals who care about the profession. Whether they are students or clinicians should hold themselves to that standard. I responded, by taking action to reaching out to her school and not her, at least reach out to her first, is a clear show of what your true intent is. It's all good though. God is who looks over my wife and he's the reason for her success thus far. Your battle is not with Adana the PA, it is with who created her. Have a blessed night. Have a blessed night. Have a blessed night. Your problem ain't with my wife. Your problem was with my God. You know what I'm saying? Your problem ain't with Adana the PA. Your problem is with the God whom she serves. You look, this woman, this woman made a clear attempt to instead of she she did not have a she did not her in her heart, and when I was talking about her intent, in her heart, her intent in her heart was not to say, you know what, Adana the PA, I have an issue with her using that um, for whatever reason. You know, a person who, especially, especially a professor at a university who is, is speaking to a PA student would say, you know what, dang, I, I don't like the way this student is doing this. Maybe there are some professionalism things. I'd like to reach out to her and share with her just some of my concerns. Maybe it's something that she can talk to her dean about. Maybe it's something that she can consider because of this reason. And that's so respectable. If you want to reach out to Adana and be like, hey, via personal message, send a message and say, hey, this is who I am. This is some concerns I have with your, your moniker, Adana the PA, blah, 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 blah. That's respectable. But that wasn't her intent. She didn't care about Adana. She didn't care about her learning. She didn't care about her improving as a student. She didn't care about her fr freaking uh, success in PA school. No, she cared about her getting in trouble. She cared about my wife getting in trouble by going to snitch or tell her dean instead of just reaching out to her. That was her intent. Her intent. Her intent was to reach out, was, was to, to try to get my wife in trouble with her school when, when any other PA students not of color are using the same moniker, the PA. Did she reach out to them? Did she send them a message? Did she reach out to their dean of students? I doubt it. And that's, what, that's, that's, kind of the, that's the kind of stuff that my wife, mind you, she has to see this. Mind you, my wife is a student at the time. She's going through PA school. Any freaking body who is a PA student or went through PA school knows how freaking hard it is. No PA student should have to go through some freaking crap that is going to make their time in PA school even harder. The black PA student, and I'm sharing this with you because I need you guys to know, both my, my, my black PA students and pre-PAs, as well as non-black PA students, pre-PAs, and also PAs, PAs, you need to understand that the black experience in PA school for most African Americans is a lot harder than yours, than the white, their white counterpart. It's harder. It's harder. It's harder. I'm not discounting the fact that it's hard for you as a white person, because it is. It's hard for any freaking body. But for the black person, it's harder because of the system, uh, systemic 
racism that they experience, the things that they experience, whether it's intentional, subliminal, unintentional, the, the knocks, the dents, most black students at most PA students, they're at PA schools, they're one of very few black PA students at those schools. Some of them are the only black students. So imagine being the only black student at your university or college at the PA program, the only one, the only one. There's certain things that African-Americans go through that, that, that is not, uh, um, um, uh, uh, um, it, 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 you don't, as, as, as someone who may be white, you don't even understand what they may be going through. And that's okay. It's not even for you to understand. You ain't got to understand it. It's not about understanding. It's about having empathy. It's about, it's about knowing that, hey, hey, this person, because of, because of their background, is going through something a little bit harder than we are. That's it. That's it. But this lady wasn't doing that. This lady... Darcy was not doing that at all. Her intent was of negative, negative consequences. And I can share this, mind you, I'm sharing this because I can share it because it was a public comment. This wasn't a personal message, public comment on Facebook. You, po you post something publicly, it can be discussed, reviewed, crit critiqued publicly, okay? So that's why I'm sharing this with you. And I'm sharing with you, this is just, this is just a small piece of what Adana went through. So this video is getting too long, man. I got to break this up. So you guys check out the next video, part two of this, where I'm about to actually show and now expose to you a comment that she got on Facebook of actually, actually a PA on Facebook who actually posted uh, a comment that referred to my wife as a slave. I'm going to show with you guys all that, expose that. Stay tuned for part two, man.